Hey guys, what's going on? It's Luke here, aka X Soldier H Productions, and welcome to part 12 of the Dark Siders 2 playthrough. Uh, so, to start the video off, we have a boss. He is called Karkin Koss, or Karen Koss. I think it's. Wait, we'll see right here. You just gotta start off by uh, shoving the ball at him. Uh, one of those little things comes to life, and so does he. So he must have been hiding there for ages. Yeah, that will cack in costs if I said that. No, I didn't. Uh, so he just completely wedges himself in the wall. And it gives it away that there's a ball right there. Uh, so this is actually my second attempt on this level. I couldn't actually quite get it right. Um, so I had to do it again. Uh, but it's, it's alright. I have to destroy this. And uh, basically after that you just kind of attack the... Uh, so the stomach of Karkinos. Uh, I think that's his name. Still getting it a bit wrong. Karkinos. Yeah, anyways. So he comes running at you and he hits himself into the wall. So that gives you um easy way. It's actually really easy. Uh, I didn't realise that at the start as I was trying and trying. Um, but I realised just how easy he actually was. Somehow that doesn't even hit him. But it goes on him anyway. Uh, I had the gun, just really doesn't really do any damage at all. Um, I had to go shooting that with it. I think it does a little bit, but it's better just to uh, hit it yourself with a sword. Um, but yeah, he hits you there by doing some jump, and then he gets me again. And I'm running out of health after this because I only just used the last health potion. We still got to get out of this place yet. So he's uh. We roll the ball at him, dead on this time. One of those things comes to life every time, so you have to shoot that. See the gun ammo has just gone there, but then it comes back after. So it's still attacking the stomach. Halfway gone now, quarter left. Maybe just a bit more than a quarter. But yeah, I don't think any more health goes in this part yet, uh, as far as I know. Well, yeah, it does actually, because these things come out. I have no idea what they are. But you dodge them, because if you don't, they hit you anyway. It's very strange what they are. I really had no clue at the time. Hits me there. Um, and then I get another hit there, but it's quite easy after that. I get another hit there. I'm just completely slacking at this time. Um, but it's not much problem. We just get the ball, and then we uh, roll it into it again. destroy this little guy over here and then uh, into the stomach again so we don't quite finish him there uh, all right, yeah so instead of charging at you again um, just let more of these things come out and I tried attacking on but it doesn't work um, I'm not really sure what they are, but they want to attack you. So right there guys, I'm literally losing out on health. Um, as you can see, it just hit me a minute ago. But he has hardly any health left, so we're going to charge this ball at him. Now, I've usually got enough health to finish it off, it's not a problem from now. But we finish him right here. Uh, this bit is quite ugly. I mean, gruesome. I guess that's a better word. That like, fact just completely opens and blood comes out. But it's only a game. Master of Cat Kinos. He sounds Greek. <laughs> um, so yeah, you get this weapon that another person who tried destroying it wedged in his stomach so then it's your turn anyways guys this is the last bit open up this part and we are out we have done the tears of the mountain although I get a little bit stuck here but it's no problem as soon as we do the lever it's all done there's me doing random hits that's it Do 
drench fort completed. So right here, I'm stupid, I think I could just jump out and go out of this place that way, but that isn't how you do it. And uh, I realised that I still have one thing left anyway, for Tears of the Mountain, and that's a chest. It wasn't that important, but I like to get obvious things done properly in, in uh, every level of the game. I get stuck on my to go there, but then I find my way right here, so we go up here. And, uh... I still think that this is the way to get out, but it, it's not. I'm trying to think, can I jump on any of these? Can I jump on any of these? But then I realised that the way to get out is basically just uh, come out the way you came in, obviously. But it's quite a bit of a journey, but it's no problem. So I'm realising that dust is staying over there. I have to go down. I tried to, um, as you see right there, I tried to summon the horse while I'm trying to summon dust but I'm bashing out the horse buttons horse buttons horse um, doesn't work so anyways but I get the map up and realise that there's a chest and I'm trying to figure out my way out and I realise it's up there but there's a chest over here which I kind of want to get so but there is no enemies um, in the Tears of the Mountain, in this place right here, pick up some Sage Claws, go wear these, yeah, wear them. Uh, health Potion, and I didn't even realise it, as you can see, there's a Health Potion right there, and I just walked straight past it. As you can see, like I said, um, a few times actually in the last video, I just don't see things at first sight for some reason. Um, but it's much clearer on the video afterwards, so. Anyways, yeah, so we jump up there down here it's fairly easy now it's just a matter of getting out of this place going the right way but I do use the map to keep helping me um, get a little bit lost um, so on to the map when I get a quest so, uh, it's quite fairly easy from here just turn right carry on turn right left whatever so, uh, but yeah, the Tears of the Mountains done, so that was uh, quite a bit of a challenge, longer than the Cauldron, like I said. Um, but now it's done, so I'm quite uh, pleased about that, as we don't have to carry on with our little friend enemies. Um, so, uh, so yeah, really. Opening up the map again, because, uh, some strange reason I get a little bit lost. Well, I don't get lost. I just uh, not entirely sure which way to uh, see where to go. So we open this up. But uh, yeah, I mentioned in the last video about the uh, Minecraft series. Uh, it's not going to be PC Minecraft, although I do have it, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do something a little bit different, just the Xbox version. Um, I do wish that the Xbox version was upgraded to like 1.3 or something, or even 1.2.5 by now. I don't even know what it's on. But Creative World, you still have to get your own resources, which is a bit of a pain. But um, it's still fun, but I just wish it was a bit updated still. Um, but yeah, it's sort of fail getting up to the chest right here. So you open up the chest. I mean, uh, nothing really that interesting. Health potion, which does help us out. Although there was one back there which I missed. Um, but yeah. So anyways, the next thing, as soon as we get out of this place, um, is another long journey. Back to Alia. Well, actually, we see that guy before. Uh, who we talked to again. This is you just a minute ago, right there in in that little uh, little lake or something. Failed getting up, but there's a little rock, so we go up there. Now I'm just figuring the way out, and it's basically straightforward now. But 
there's literally nothing else for me to do the rest of this level as far as I'm aware everything is done Just strolling through the castle. Through this door. And I uh, think that's it. Maybe some last little turns. Now that's it. So that is the Tears of Man complete turn around just for one last little look at it. And, uh, that's it, I have to look at that little tier thing or whatever it is at the top of the uh, of the castle before we go. Anyways, so that's it, back on uh, the horse, despair, and uh, out we go, back to Alia. Even though it's not her uh, we speak to, but it's, she's there anyway, I can't remember the other, the guy's names. So, the Ford, for George. It's obviously forward of the chase silent. But um yeah, so these guys kind of follow through and he's actually really close to the horse right there. But I kind of just dodge it and uh, carry on through. But using up all this horse's charges. Didn't even realise that they respawned on the right, up the top right there. You get five altogether, but they don't follow anymore. Right, yeah, I have to get off the horse just to open the gate. Realise that thing came back. So, I ain't going to waste any time, I'm just going to run through everywhere. They don't actually keep up with me, surprisingly. I thought they would, but they, uh, they don't seem to. So, here's the journey back. Um, it's begun, really. I don't think there's any last enemies, maybe just a couple, but they, uh, they don't hit us. There's no more fighting for the rest of this video. Uh, so I would play another song guys but I can't really seem to see a point this isn't really that long uh, so I'm just gonna maybe talk about a few things so um, yeah maybe just a few games that are coming up uh, we got Black Ops 2 I think I said that, yeah I said that I'd probably do some gameplays on that um, in fact I might do the uh, the story on it something different than your regular online gameplays and montages and whatever so yeah I might do some of that, that would be quite um, that would be quite good to do actually um, but yeah we're really see what I mean it's not really that long of a journey the, the journey there weren't that long anyways um, but we dive down here because I realise it's something and I think we've actually got everything that we um, that we could have maybe we missed some out in the cauldron I don't think we have but might have been one or two things. Not really important though. The main quest is what's important. But yeah, we uh pretty much there. We just gotta go through uh this last little uh like door thing here. Now I thought it was straight up where they are, but it's it's not. We have to have a little bit more of a journey just to uh to see them. Then we go back to it, Black Ops 2, I think that would be quite good to do. Uh, also, we're waiting for, well I'm waiting for a F1 2012 game. 
so I think I'll be doing some gameplays on that. So there's quite a few games, interesting ones coming out uh, this year. Assassin's Creed 3 is on its way in October, so definitely got to do something on that. But probably another playthrough. Uh, I do like Assassin's Creed. I've only played Second Brotherhood and Revelations though. Not played the first one. Anyways, guys, there's a cutscene coming up right here, so I'm just going to mute my mic for this part. It is finished then, at long last. Death, this is a maker's key, and you had best take it now, before I come to my senses. <laughs> is he more likely to lose them, old one? A problem, aye. But there is also a solution. The Guardian. Meant to be our greatest weapon, and capable of clearing the forest around the tree. But an earthquake drove us from the foundry, and now, I fear something else roams within. The Guardian was never finished. If the Guardian is your masterwork, how am I to complete him? In the forest lies another construct, one of the few remaining who have not fallen to corruption. He is not as vast as the Guardian, but his heart is strong. Seek him out, and he will guide you to the Foundry. There, you may activate the Guardian using the Maker's Key. The Constructs are awakened by a key? Aye. Constructs do not have a soul like you or I. Not until that soul is given. This key unlocks the stone and prepares it for the ebb and flow of a Maker's life force. In fact, it will bring to life most any construct you find in the realm. <laughs> and what makes you think I have a soul, or what? Isn't that what troubles you? How will I know when I've found this construct? Constructs are beings of boulder and stone, animated by a Maker's life force. Most possess but a fraction of a soul, just enough to drive them and give them purpose. But through others course the whole of a Maker's being, his memories and emotions, a story half remembered. Life weighs heavy on us all. Not even stone can bear it. If wardens can resist corruption, why not use them to cleanse your realm? Sadly, the wardens were called when the seals were broken. The Maker's toll to be paid at the end war. This Warden is all that remains. Hmm. Then the seals were broken. Right, so as you can see right there guys, we've got the Maker's Key. Bring any life to anything that we see. Or something like so. Anyway, so I always like to look at the achievements as you've seen a minute ago. Unlock Reperform. So this bit is actually quite interesting from what I, uh, I saw. When you're fighting, you can summon this this thing right here and um, it basically helps you out so I got quite a bit of coins there 6,600 um, but uh, you now have reperform reperform can be activated by using the LB and RT so uh, right there as you can see this thing will help you out no problem uh, so you press it again to get out of it but uh, yeah that's quite interesting guys so um we should be up for more of a challenge now with this reperform and uh, everything else that we have uh, that we've seen basically. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap the commentary up here. So uh, yeah, this has been part 12, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and uh, I shall see you guys later.